What's going on YouTube family? Hope you guys are doing well today. My name is Quintavious Oliver and this is going to be a super quick video because I'm extremely excited about what's in this box. And uh, while I love making videos for you guys, I really wanna go and uh, use this. So what I've got here is something I've been waiting on for quite some time. I actually ordered it a while ago and uh, one package got lost, so I decided to order it again. It wasn't supposed to be here until mid-October, but today is September 30th. Uh, so I got a little bit early and I'm extremely excited about it. But I've been anticipating this lens for some time now, so you guys are getting to see it for the first time, as am I. And so far I really like this packaging. I mean, it's pretty basic. This is the TT Artisan 35 millimeter f 1.4 and so far as I can tell they've put a lot of thought into the packaging um, pretty hefty lens feels nice and solid um, it's got a little screwdriver here for some adjustments hopefully this thing is adjusted right out of the box and I can just go shoot with it um, now, I do know that if you are going to adjust these things, it helps if you have a digital camera that can actually do live view, uh, but we'll get into that if necessary. Uh, looks like we've got a little card in here with a QR code. I'll update you guys on what that QR code does later. Probably is just their website. Uh, oh, it's got the chart for me to adjust the focus on it, and it's got the instructions on how to do that right here. I do like that about these lenses uh, because if your rangefinder happens to be a little bit off, let's say you ride down bumpy roads a lot and your camera's around your neck over a bicycle trail or something like that, or let's say you're on a motorcycle like I am a lot of the time, or you fly on planes a lot, those little micro vibrations can actually throw your rangefinder off. And rather than having to send your camera back to Leica to have it adjusted, you can just adjust the lens and uh, it'll focus just fine. So speaking of lenses, Let's get down to it. This metal lens hood is really nice. I've read some things where people have said this thing comes off really easily. Um, this one seems to have no problem at all. Uh, again, it is a hefty lens. Aperture ring clicks nicely. This is significantly larger than the old uh, 35 millimeter Similux that I had, the version two. Looks like the glass is fairly nice. I mean, fairly. It's actually really nice. Uh, and there's not a whole lot to it. I mean, it doesn't autofocus. There's no stabilization or anything like that. It's really just a well-made uh, third-party lens. And I guess I should go get my digital camera to see if this thing focuses correctly. So I'll be right back. Hold that thought. All right. So before I get into that, let's do, I know my desk is really, really dirty. Um, this is not normally where I do camera reviews. I actually usually clean guns here. Uh, so I've got stuff all over the place. But I wanted to hurry up and get this video done because I didn't want you guys to miss the unboxing. And I really want to go out and shoot this thing. But as far as a size comparison goes, uh, with the hood attached, it's about double in size for my 35 Summicron. And I don't know that that's going to be a huge problem. I do like the weight on it. It kind of lets me know that this thing is very well and solidly built. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't take this thing with me everywhere. I mean, aside from the image quality not being great, but uh, let's throw this onto the camera and see if it focuses correctly. So I've got my handy dandy Leica M10 here. And this is not gonna be a full review of this thing. I'm actually going to stick this onto my camera and not take it off for the next week and see how this thing acts as an everyday lens. So it looks like I might have to adjust this lens just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get on that and uh, I'll report back with what I find. Uh, till then, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see what comes of this. And uh, maybe I end up falling in love with this thing. We'll see. Peace.